is going on guys, your boy SissoH here, bringing you guys another Simple 4D tutorial, and uh, this tutorial is actually going to show you guys to do the grid array effect, or uh, the atom array little grid effect that you probably see a little bit now, it's coming like, you know, slowly inside the, the banner game, and I, you know, people used to do it before, but it doesn't look as good as it does now, because our generation is actually getting a little bit better as it is, and uh, you know, so here's like the effect, it kind of looks like a little grid in between these like little, uh, you know, nice materials, and these, usually some people have like glow material, but I have like a standard black or grunge material, and uh, you see these materials that are actually here. We're actually gonna have a giveaway soon. Uh, it's gonna be like you know, just gonna have another material giveaway. I'm really close to 4K, so I might do it as a 4K material pack thing. Cause I know materials are probably one of those things that everyone can use, and it can continuously use, except for like packs, uh, like stocks and stuff like that, which they're just basically overdone and just basically everyone has the same thing in their packs. So I like to do material packs now because it's actually really really nice and it's really, you know, I like to do them and it's just people can use them a lot. So. I'm done ranting about that, and uh, another thing I'm going to rant about really quickly is the spoils pack that I have. Uh, it's called Cecil Spoils Pack. It has my exclusive loud material, my white pack, and my warm CC, and my banner, like, similar for the, I mean, PSD banners, basically how I did my banners and stuff like that back in the day. And, uh, you know, this is $10, basically 70% off. I just have everything in one thing, and the reason why I'm doing this is because, you know, I have the word exclusive in front of it, which means, like, some people have it, but now when I delete it, only the people who bought it is gonna have it, so it's actually gonna be really exclusive. And you know, people who have it, and you know, have it forever, and not everyone else. If that makes pretty like pretty much sense, because I'm having more stuff in my new store. Uh, also using Sellify now, not PayHip anymore. So, anyways, let's get going, guys. Uh, we're just gonna be showing you how to do this really quickly. So it's really simple. What I'm gonna do is just delete this for now, and we're gonna have this here, and let's go. So now, what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate the render. What you know, you wanna have the little atom array thing on. And, uh, not a little Adam Ray, yeah. So, what you want to do, when you have a duplicate, I'm, like, talking to myself right now, you're like, what the hell is he talking about? All you gotta do is just duplicate the render, you wanna go to your caps, and then you wanna go to your start cap and keep it on cap. Uh, your first render should be on fill a cap, uh, fill a cap, fill a cap, and then it should have, be all at two. But the reason why we're keeping this at cap is because when you do the Adam Ray, and you do that little lines, you don't wanna have the lines on the side, you just wanna have them be showing in the middle, but unless you wanna have the lines on the side, you put this on fill a cap also. But once you've done that, with that, you want to go to your type, where it's highlighted right here, and you want to go to, it's going to say N-Gons, you want to click on this and go to Quad Angles, and then you want to select the regular grid box, which I already have selected, and you want to go to the width and change it from 10 to about 6 or 7. You can estimate it or do whatever you want to do when you actually get to, you know, the part where you want to see what it looks like. And uh, once you've done that, you want to click on the one that, that has the Quad Angles, and then you want to go to your Array tab, you want to go to your Atom Array, you want to drag the, the one with the Quad Angles inside the Atom Array, and then once you do that, you want to click on the atom array, you want to go to your sphere and change the radius to 0.5, which will also change the cylinder 0.5 also. And what that does, you can actually see if I just like got rid of that really quick, is this basically like shortens like or tightens up the little squares and actually makes them visible, except for looking like little, you know, bulbs of nothing. But once you do that, you want to go to your atom array and just drag it behind the render just a little bit. Mine is like right basically on the same exact like layer, but you just want to drag it behind the render just a tad bit more. Like, literally just like a nudge like that. You can see how much I just dragged it down. It's just really nothing. And now once you do that, you want to go back to your original render. And you want to go to your plugins, Nitro Blast, Nitro Blast Main. And now this is where, you know, everything gets, you know, in touch. So if you want to have, like, really big chunks missing and really, like, the little grid array showing, like, more, you want to keep the pieces at, like, 50 or something. But if you want to have, like, little pieces like I had before, you just want to, like, up, like, the, the pieces more. So I have it at 200. But like I said, if you want more... Um, more of the grid array showing, use smaller pieces, but if you want to have less of the grid array showing, have more pieces. Did I say the same thing? If you want to have more, if you want to have less, put little. Alright, it's basically self-explained. If you want to have more of it showing, you put the pieces smaller, and if you want to have less of it showing, you put the pieces higher. Yeah, there we go. I think I said it right this time. I don't know if I said it right the first time, but, you know, I'm just talking because we got to wait till it breaks. And, uh, so yeah. These materials right here, by the way, are going to be actually used inside a uh, material pack giveaway so you know I like doing material pack giveaways if you guys didn't know I you know enjoy that better than like PSD packs or something like that with like stocks where everyone can just take your stocks and just that's it but not everyone can take the materials I mean only you can make the materials so you can't be like yeah I made them first in like a pack and be like nope that doesn't work but anyways I'm just gonna take this material and just put in this little blue and then take this one put in this little yellow and that's plenty you know you know how to use Nitro Blast you just basically go to your main pieces dynamics you want to go to MoGraph Fracture you want to click on the first piece, you want to drag all the way down, or you want to scroll all the way down and hold shift, and click on the last piece to scroll all the way back up, and then just take the first piece and just put it right inside your fracture, and then you can just delete this as you wish, and now what you do is where, you know, how you delete little pieces, this is what I basically did, just so I can delete pieces, 
and uh, you don't really, you know, you can't click on anything. Like, you can't click on individual pieces when you have this little green arrow, which is, like, selected. So you unselect that, then it will allow you to click on little pieces. So once you do that, you just click on pieces, hit delete on your keyboard, and then you can just do that freely in the spots that you want, as random as you want. Like I said, you know, I have smaller pieces, so they're actually the pieces are going to be, like, really small. If you had bigger pieces, you'd be having, like, pieces that would cover, like, this whole entire side or something like that. But, uh, yeah, you can just delete it in certain spots, you know, it's whatever. And then basically what you're done with that, you can put a nice little, uh, like, material onside your, the, uh, Adam Ray tab or whatever. You can have, like, a nice dark material, whatever. But, uh, it's all dependent on you, you know, it's whatever. And, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little tutorial. And, uh, you know, you guys are probably like, what the hell, like, like your last one was, in, like, September 8th. I understand that. I'm sorry I'll get as active as I can as possible. Like, it's my senior year in college planning and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to do what I have to do. And uh, don't forget about the spoils pack, you know, all my stuff in one little pack. And uh, basically, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy how to do the little grid array effect thing. And I'll see you guys later. So, let's show up. Peace.